joining us today at my trusty bandsaw and what we're going to do is resaw this block of 52mm mahogany into 225mm bits and uh, the blade takes a millimetre for itself and it takes a mil and a half so that's good um, the reason is I'm going to make two radius sanding blocks I'm going to mount a router on an arc and uh, just let it cut pieces out of this with the arc going up, moving it slowly down. Going to make a, a 14 inch and a 16 inch radius today. And um, if they're successful, I'll make a 20 inch, a 12 inch, and a 10 inch radius. Uh, okay, so important things. This has been planed totally flat. And uh, when I'm cutting it, I'm cutting against this side and uh, the bottom resting there. That's because that's where I've taken my measurements, so that's going to ensure the best cut. We've got the rip fence mounted, this is one I made. Uh, so this is mounted that square. It's parallel the whole way across, that'll um, make sure the cut is even throughout. And we're going to use a couple of wee uh, push sticks I made today, because I lost my other ones. Um, okay. Important things, this blade is a... Um, I think that's a 15mm blade. Uh, the big thick blades are much better for rip sawing, especially hardwood. And then uh, it's worth considering the teeth per inch. And this particular blade is, I think, 3 teeth per inch. It's really coarse. That means it's going to cut the, the hardwood without heating up too much. It's going to cut it efficiently and you're going to get a straight cut. It will be a bit rough, but then you can plane it. That's no big deal. Another consideration is the cut height. This is really high to allow my rip fence to fit in. This is because I uh, saw big 6-inch uh, boards sometimes. Uh, so you have quite a bit of blade here that you can damage yourself on. Be very aware of that. I put the blade on with gloves. I've cut my hand up before doing it without gloves. And it's not pleasant. Anyway, um, I'm going to grab a pair of earmuffs and let's get started. We'll start the dust extraction as well. Uh, band in it, we take in it, so it explains a bit more of the rubbing and all. 